Hey, this is Robert Monroe. Welcome to the No Edit Podcast, where I basically talk about whatever I want over some piano that I'm playing live. And I don't edit anything, you know, partially because I'm lazy, but also partially because I think it's kind of fun to be on the spot and on off the cuff. And we've been going through different iterations. We did current events for a bit. I did not particularly enjoy that. I'm just not the type of person who stays plugged in. The most news I get are just from random YouTube videos. So then I was like, okay, how about pulling from my own life experience? And then I found this super cool tool in analytics called inspiration where you can actually look at what people are searching and how it relates to your own channel. And so the question today that we're gonna cover is the most important skill for improving your life. And I gave it some thought and what I came up with is the love of failure. And I guess we got a backdrop for a second here, you know, back up, because how is that a skill? How is that something that you can learn? And I honestly think you really can learn how to love failing. Not because you necessarily enjoy failure in and of itself, but you enjoy what failure symbolizes. What it really is telling you about what is happening underneath, you can figure out this, you're gonna be improving on everything in your life at all times, at least to a small extent. So first of all, I guess let's think about what skill means just for a second. I think skill is just something that you can do, but you also can learn and grow with. Otherwise, if you don't have it be able to be something that you can learn, that's just something innate, that to me feels more like talent. I'm sure we can get pedantic about this, but that would be at least my idea. Well, how is loving failure a skill? It's something you can learn. We'll get into that in a second. And it's something you can practice. You can get better at it and as you get better at it it yields so much positive impact on your life so what do i mean by this loving failure let's get into that first i don't mean masochism i don't mean seeking out failure i don't mean uh liking the sensation of failing to the point that it's almost a malfunction you know a dysfunction where you're like Oh, I just enjoy being in pain. That's not what I mean. This is not for people who like to put their hand over a match and feel the burning sensation. That is not what I'm talking about. What I am talking about is you're going for something and maybe let's say you're going for something in music. You're going and you hit a wrong note. Like I hit this B natural there instead of the B flat. And then I miss this note here. For a lot of people, the only joy they get is when they do that correctly. But what you can learn is, oh, I missed something. Well, what does that tell me? Well, it was telling me my fourth finger wasn't activating the way that it should. So what does that tell me? Well, it tells me I probably should spend a little bit more time working just on that fourth finger and the dexterity there. Why is that important? Well, if I know that, I know how to get better and I know what limits me, so then I can improve. Ah, now we're improving. That is why I said it's the most important skill for improving your life. There probably are others that could easily be, you know, thought of in the running, but I am going to propose that this is really truly the most important one. How can you learn to love to fail? I think it comes from understanding the implication. If I do something perfectly the first time, two things are the problem here. The first is, how do I know that I did it intentionally? How do I know how to do it again? These are big issues. If you just sit down and you like you do some stride and you do it perfectly the first time, how, how do you know how to do it? You don't know anything about stride. You just happen to put your hand in the right place. Now, again, it may not have been a fluke. Maybe you're just set for life. You can just play stride forever. Or 
it might have been a fluke and now you are screwed. So what is way more sustainable is to make a mistake and be like, ugh, and then you have to practice for a while and then you get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner and then you figure it out. That is what I mean. So that's thing one, it may have been a fluke, but also failure points you in the direction of improvement. That's why I think it's the most important skill because if you don't know where to improve, you're gonna just be floundering. You're gonna be the guy that's like, oh, I gotta go to the gym, I gotta read books, I gotta learn how to cook, I gotta become a better listener, I got to, it, the list is endless on what you can improve in your life, but to really know what you should be focusing on, failure is pointing you in that direction always as to what maybe you should be really paying attention to. I'm curious if you guys agree with me or you think this is a load of crap. Do you love to fail? Have, is this something that you try to practice, that you try to get better at? Or do you have a different take entirely? I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, have a great day.